using my brush. Make sure it's all brushed out. And then what I'm going to do is section it off by sections. So um, I am going to start with the very bottom. To have it moist. So in here I have mixed chicks and water. If you guys aren't familiar with mixed chicks, um, this is what it looks like. It's really expensive. It runs about $20 um, for a jar this size. Um, but it's very, very good. It's leave-in conditioner. Um, and it is very good for your hair. So if you have $20 to invest in it, I would definitely recommend it. Um, because, yeah, like I said, it does wonders for your hair. I can imagine what it does for real hair. If I know, you know, it does wonders for weeds. But, um, I actually never use it in here. The only reason I'm doing it like this is because I'm doing the rollers. I usually would wet my hair in the shower and then apply it and leave it in that way. I don't really like the spray on method just because for my personal preference. I like it super, super soaking wet in the shower. So right now, I am, I'm not drenching my hair. I'm just pretty much damping it. Making sure that there's some sort of moisture on it. Okay, so I'm going to take the comb, run it through. <clears throat> okay, so if you see how wet it is, it's pretty wet, which is perfect. So take a generous amount. Do excuse my naps. I will be slicking them bad boys down. <laughs> take a generous amount and roll it with the bone roller. And basically how you're gonna do that is starting from here, the lowest point, and roll it around until you don't have any more hair, and then roll it onto the roller into the very top. I myself roll them to the top because they tend to fall, um, like get looser the longer they're in and the later, like the longer you keep them in. For instance, I've had this one in probably about 20 minutes now. And I'll take it out and it'll give me an idea of what it'll look like tomorrow when I take it out. So, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this back up. and continue to do that throughout my whole head until I have no more hair left out to roll. Remember to brush through them. The last thing you would want is nappy curls. Um, avoid using too much hair also because the more hair that you use the harder it is for the curls to take so I would, that's why I got a lot of these things because I would, ha I would rather have too many than not enough so make sure when you buy them you buy enough for your whole head like I have a big head so I obviously bought a lot of them but um, yeah, so keep a small amount. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these and keep rolling them until I'm done. So um, I will start recording again once I am finished to show you what it looks like with all of the rollers in my hair. 
So this is where I'm at now. Okay. And this is what it looks like finished. I look so retarded, like whatever though. So this is what it looks like finished. On average, it should take about 20 minutes to roll up, depending, depending on how long your hair is. Um, but this is what it looks like. Let's wait and see what it don't look like in the morning. Bye, guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like the morning after. Um, all of the curls are still intact and are still um, rolled tightly. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take them off by just simply removing the snap and pulling them allowing it to fall. And if you see here, we got a really tight curl. Just the way I wanted it. So once all of these are out, um, I will separate the curls because I don't want them to be that tight. Um, but right now, I'm, I love the way that they look. So, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And then once I have all of them out, I will show you guys the final product. Okay, so this is what it looks like as soon as the curls, lures, the rollers are taken out. It's pretty big right now, so what I'm going to do is separate them and style it, and then we'll have my finished hairstyle. Stay tuned. And this is the finished product. This is the finished product of what it looks like when it's done. If you can see the difference, it's not as tight, tightly rolled. Um, and I definitely will be using those again, and I'm glad I did it. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the, qu the comments box or inbox me. Thanks for watching.